Hi Libra singles, this is going to be your mid-February reading, singles reading. It's good for Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, Mercury placement of Libra. As always, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. Things could be opposite and the roles could be reversed as well. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. This is a channel dedicated just to Libra and Sagittarius. If you're looking for readings for all 12 zodiac signs, I have another channel. It's called Soma Chandra Tarot. I read for all 12 zodiac signs over there. So subscribe to both of my channels and hit the bell so you know when I read for you. Link to my website for private readings and to check out human design analysis is down in the description below this video. All right, let's begin. Well, I think that you're going to get some messages maybe from someone or someone is thinking about communicating with you. I'm not really sure entirely what this person wants. This person, I think, is working through some stuff about themselves trying to figure themselves out. I mostly see that this person manifests without really thinking about a goal before they manifest with you or anyone else. I don't know that you're down for it though. They wanted me to use my Soma Chandra Oracle deck that my daughter made for us. And what came out was sudden realizations, lessons learned, disillusionment, disappointing clarity, no second chances at the bottom of the deck. Peer pressure is here society and friends. So peer pressure has affected someone in the relationship or both of you. Um, I don't know if it's you that's not going to give this person a second chance or if they are realizing that not giving the relationship a second chance or a chance, um, if they're realizing that no second chances was a mistake, or they are also realizing, I think, that you're not going to give them any second chances. I think that this person and the person um, coming towards you is the one having the sudden realizations. They are starting to learn lessons. They are starting to be disillusioned. Disillusionment is an incredibly important, important part of spiritual growth and development. Because the sooner you get in touch with reality, the closer you are to truly growing as a person. I think they're realizing now that's like they're not going to get any second chances. I think some of the decisions they've made up until now have been based on peer pressure. Maybe that's true for you as well. When we realize, because peer pressure is conditioning. And when we realize we have been conditioned, it, it could take us a long time to realize that. And when we do realize that we do learn lessons, we do have sudden realizations, we definitely experience disillusionment. Interesting. Overall energy of the person coming towards you is the seven of pentacles. The way they're feeling or you're feeling is the page of cups. I think that when they communicate with you, you will be kind and gentle to them. I think that it will pull on your heartstrings and cause you to look back in, in the past. But here's the thing, Libra. Even though you're being seen as the Queen of Cups, overall, you see yourself in a very different way. What you need to know where your advice is the world and the final outcome is the Three of Cups. It took me a minute to put it all together, but I uh, do think I see what's happening here. So someone's thinking about the past for sure. Les I, I've put quite a bit of effort into something, waiting for something to happen here. And while I stand here and watch the grass grow, waiting for something to happen, I think about Libra, <laughs> seven of cups. I wonder what's going on. I keep hearing someone say, I thought I had all the time in the world. I thought I had a lot of choices. Maybe they did, maybe they still do, but messages, they want to communicate with you, the Empress. This could also be a Libra or a Taurus in your environment. We could be dealing with a woman or you're that woman or that man, masculines come, Libra masculines come out as the empress a lot. Despite Libra being a masculine sign, Venus is a feminine planet. I noticed that Libra men and women are pretty balanced between both. Well, that's true for a lot of zodiac signs, masculine and feminine planet and vice versa. So someone does want to message you, they think about it. And maybe they do communicate with you. I'm also hearing that if they do communicate with you, this person will be like, I'm trying to figure out what I want. I feel kind of lost. <laughs> and I think that because the Page of Cups is turned towards this person, you'll be like, it's okay. Um, I do think you'll make something kind of okay for them. I'm hearing that, well, first of all, let me back up a little bit. So over the weekend, you guys, between like the 11th to the 13th, the moon was waning in Scorpio and it made us all kinds of something something. 
Um, it made us very deep. It made us very introspective. It made us creative, but a lot of shadow themes and shadow emotions came up. And I don't know about you guys, but I definitely felt the viciousness of that waning Scorpio moon. A lot of anger, resentment, repressed feelings of possessiveness and jealousy and insecurity came up. But we're flowing into the sun is moving into gate 30 in our bodies. If you follow human design, gate 30 is a gate that when it's activated, makes us like calm down and cool off and just let a lot go and lighten up and loosen up so that we can feel like this sense of rapture and a sense of freedom. And I think that I don't know what your weekend was like, but I think you're coming off of that Scorpio moon and into a little bit of a sweetness. I do think that you'll be like, it's okay, man. I'm here. I'll talk to you. Either that or this person may communicate with you. This is often a little invitation. Uh, it can be an apology as well. It's an emotional little intuitive knowing, clarifying this is the chariot, strength, and the ace of swords. You could be dealing with a person that has Cancer and Leo in their chart, perhaps they cusp. I also am hearing that someone will reach out to the other person and say, can I come and see you? Like, I want to travel to see you. It takes strength of character to, character to do this. They may also say they want to come and see you between Cancer and Leo season, which is a little ways away from now. Perhaps you live at a distance from one another because the world is here. But someone does want a breakthrough. I also think that some of you will um, slip out of the Queen of or King and Queen of Swords energy where you're really straightforward and really to the point and almost like harsh with people sometimes. And, and be sweeter and kinder with advice. Some of you, I predict, will say to this person, okay, look, I know you're standing here thinking about what you wanna do like with your love life or me or whomever, but you need to have strength of character. You need to cut through to the truth and cut out bullshit. You need to get clarity about you want what you want and you need to have the GPS of your soul turned on. This person needs help with that in some way. I think that you may uh, extend a kindness to them. Like, I don't see you being an asshole to them at all, but I think you're not interested either to a degree. So you're being seen as the queen of cups, or there could this could be a water sign coming towards you as well. This person, if it's, if it's not them, it's you. I ask, how is Libra being seen? You're being seen as creating a very emotionally sensitive and intuitive environment. The queen of cups... I mean, I read in the upright, she can have a reversal meaning where like she wears her heart on her sleeve and she's too in her heart and never in her head, loving to a fault sometimes. But also in the upright, the Queen of Cups is very emotionally intelligent and emotionally intuitive. She nurtures herself and she will emotionally nurture others. This person sees you as being this way. I don't know how you're pulling it off because that's difficult for me to pull off and my moon's in cancer. <laughs> I'm like, wow, Libra, uh, what's your secret? <laughs> Can you share some with me? That's, uh, I'm just saying on a personal note, this is difficult for me all the time. I could only be this way with a few people in my life. But this person saw that in you, the three of pentacles, the moon as well, and the knight of pentacles. There's still a lot of emotions and confusion and possibly even untapped potential in this situation. There's still something that could happen here between the two of you. It's hard to walk away. I also think this person thinks a lot about the past and they want to make sense of it. And you might too. I mean, the hermit is here. There's been a lot of thought put into this with the Virgo energy. Yeah, really thinking about stuff and confusion about the past, maybe even about someone's own childhood, confused about stuff, fire sign could have been involved. I'm also hearing a role reversal between parent and child, between mother and daughter. Mm. She's not always nice, is she? About the mother figure that is, okay. That's a private message I'm hearing. One of you is psychic. I can hear you. I feel you. So it's like there could still be something here. There could be really something here. Um, what you need to know is the world. Now, you could be a world away from this person. There is an ascension that's happening here. Someone is getting a spiritual lesson. 
Typically the world for me is an ending and it could be, but I'm seeing this a little bit more as a new beginning, clarifying this is the magician, the devil and the page of cups. There could also be a Capricorn involved. I'm hearing that some of you have an ex that's involved with either a Capricorn and an Aries now will send you some kind of a message or like if they drop off the kids or pick up or something like that, there could be this weird little interaction and one of you says something that only the other person would know because of history with one another. It's like this little idiosyncratic thing and it makes them realize how loving and kind you have always been. Yeah, but they got themselves maybe wound up on something else. You need to know if that's the case, they're going to stay in that scenario, but they also cannot help themselves but to see if they can get an emotional reaction out of you. This is where we want something like a moth to a flame. Very calculated. They could be an Aries that has a few issues or they just, you know, they're very determined and they want what they want. They do want to open up. I'm also hearing someone say, I'm kind of fucked up in this way, X, Y, or Z, but I can't help it. Are you still interested in me? Do you forgive me? That could be coming from you or, for the, or from them. Watch out for trauma bonding. It's okay if you have things that were traumatic from the past in common, but we want to have more than in common than trauma and emotional confusion, and mothering, and codependency. Yeah. Because I'm not seeing this person want to take you into the future. They do want to suck you in, though. Okay. I also can see that this person is, someone is doing a lot of life review. And this person may realize that They've definitely learned lessons about their shadow side. Someone's learned lessons about their shadow side, about what they deeply desire, what they chain and bind themselves to, and not in a fun, kinky way. Their powers of persuasion, their powers of manipulation even at times. They may have learned this at a very early age. They may have been manipulated themselves at an early age. They are good at doing this to other people as a result. I also can see that for some of you, someone has had a problem dealing with the aging process or dealing with age and maturity and seeing it in themselves and being proud of it. But it's here. <laughs> to the hermit, get used to your gray hairs. You earned them. This person struggles with that. And it all has to like do with their past. The final outcome is the Three of Cups. So this is dating, friendship, group dynamic, creative collaborations, get-togethers, going out. But clarifying this is the Ten of Wands, the Hermit, and the Nine of Cups. Somebody's getting too old for them, the scene that they're in. This is a scene. And it is a fun scene. It really is. It's a fun scene. I just heard moonshine. God, it's been a minute since I've had moonshine. I grew up in Maryland, you guys, and I lived in the South for a long time, and I like that moonshine. I'm not getting it up here in the Bay Area. That's all. I, I don't know why. I just heard it like moonshine. Fun. Um, but this scene like dating, staying in a continual dating game. I don't have the wheel of fortune, but it's almost like they think about their past cycles. They're gonna, they wanna talk to you about it. They're hoping you'll be emotionally supportive. They've done a lot of soul searching about it. They're getting too old for this. And they're also thinking a lot about instant gratification. I'm also hearing that there may have been a time and they may repeat this cycle again. If they've done this before, they may do it again. They'll start a new cycle where, uh, okay, they may keep the fact that they have a serious or important relationship with you. Um, they may keep that away from friends. They won't want anyone else to know that. They will keep the relationship between the two of you secret. They'll be withdrawn about it. They'll like say, oh, I'm busy. If you spend time with this person or around this person or even while they're just out and about, they'll think about things that weigh them down. They'll think about things you said to them about a cancer or a Pisces, maybe 
as well. I think you make this person think a lot, a lot, a lot. They may remember you as kind of amazing. I think that some of you have uh, fire in your chart because you came out as the queen of wands over here. Someone wants to talk. Scorpio energy. Wow, really putting something from the past to an ending. They, okay, that Scorpio waning moon has got to them because things from the past are coming up that make them look themselves in the mirror. They're very tempted to talk to you about it. They would like to feel healing. They would like to feel a freedom and a healing. I just heard epiphany, understanding, but it just takes strength. Moving on. No. King of Cups, King of Wands, and Justice. Libra? <laughs> you know, I think you're doing that thing that Libras do. Unbeknownst to you guys, a lot of the time, what you end up doing is teaching people how to grow the fuck up. And you don't do it for that purpose, but like through consequence and cause and effect and living with choices, I think you're kind of pushing a person into King of Cups and King of Wands energy. I also think that there could be an earth sign down here that they choose or it will help them choose a good partner. They may decide not to do this or talk to you at all, but they sure want to. But I do think you were part of a growth process with them. And there is no real second chance, but I was like, okay, well, untold truth of the heart, tell me about this person a little bit more so that Libra understands them. Beauty, charming, graceful, and luxurious. They had a bougie side maybe, or they were very charming. They liked graceful, luxurious people. They like beautiful people. They may have Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in their chart. They may be a swan as well. Mirror, they've done a lot of reflections. They've thought a lot about you and you help them think about themselves. They want to confess something to you. They get sidetracked a lot. They're going to confess that they sidetrack themselves quite a bit. They may say that the relationship has sidetracked them from other things or that they got, got sidetracked from the relationship with you by other things. They've thought a lot about it. They've also thought a lot about what they place value on in the material world, in other people, in values, in themselves. I mean, I do have apology down here. They're sorry. I'm like, all right. I think that uh, someone has air in their chart as well, because this person's overall energy is the Ace of Swords, the Four of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Magician. I wanted to know what he was manifesting. The Nine of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Moon. This is why I said what I said at the beginning. This person may have, uh, they may be a manifester or a manifester generator in human design. Manifestors have a repelling aura and they do not ask permission. They just manifest. Only 9% of the population is a true manifester. And anyone that's like a generator subtype that has manifestor qualities or is a manifestor, one of the things these folks have to learn is how to get in touch with what the fuck they really want before they start to do it. Because this person manifests things that instantly make them happy, but then they don't know, they do not know how they feel about it later. They manifest a lot of instant gratification that leads to confusion. This person wants wish fulfillment and they want happiness, but they don't really know what that is for them. They need to do some more trial and error and experimentation. But the thing is, this guy, if it's a guy, he is smart and he sees himself at a level of mastery. I don't think it occurs to him at all that he does this. You're only human, man. It's also possible that there's some, this someone that wants to manifest you, Libra. Watch out that they don't just manifest confusion for you. I also hear that someone is very, if they have issues at all, they indulge in those weaknesses. And they could be doing a little bit better. But I see a person that wants to have a breakthrough, that is having an aha moment that's stressful for them. And it's all about what they manifest and why. I think they also keep their heart under wraps and they hold people at arm's length. Oh my goodness, you, you king of swords. You can be so charming when you want to be. I know many of you can be lovely when you want to be. I see that this person has lovely qualities too, and I think that they are a go-getter and they definitely take action. They can bring a lot of happiness into the world, but then they're not sure about how they feel about it later. This person sidetracks themselves. And this is kind of tough for you 
because your response to this Libra is only you, fixated, attached, hypnotized, and then upheaval, shock, the unexpected trouble. There's chemistry here, there's a spark, and there's a longing. Okay, if this person says a goddamn thing to you, and I think that they will because the Eight of Wands is here with the Two of Cups, and with this chariot and the Ace of Swords, it's, hey, I want to come see you, I want to talk to you. I kind of think some of you are going to have an oh shit moment. Like, are you kidding me? God damn it. Why now? I don't want to give you a second chance, but you were rather attached and hypnotized by this person. This is very shocking to you. I think it also shocks you that you're attracted to them for some reason. There's a lot of spark between the two of you and there is a longing as well. And this is a person, I think, from the past. And you're like, I'm almost hearing you guys say, God damn it. <laughs> I don't think, I think if, if nothing else, you'll be kind to them. But I don't know that you're going to give them a chance. Because you look like you're moving on to something else. Like you'll listen to them, but you expect the cup of love to be handed to you. And I do think you think it is being handed to you. The fool whole new journey, Aries energy. I hear that some of you have a North Node or a part of fortune or a Chiron in Aries and all of those things need to be moved towards or have some attention given to them. I think you're working through that placement and I think it's uh, you're really getting in touch with it. I heard Chiron in Aries in particular. So learning how to put yourself first without feeling like a selfish asshole. You do not want uh, to have too many burdens at the moment. I also think you feel like a badass bitch. And I think that you're really proud of yourself. Feeling good, feeling healthy, feeling sexy too. Other that or some of you are dating a fire sign now. Uh, Aries or Sagittarius. I do think you're wondering if love could be here. And you are playing it very calm, cool, and collected. You are going to determine the purpose of what you do before you do it. You are not interested in commitment at this particular... Well, it's maybe you're not... It's not that you're not interested in commitment. It's that you're not racing towards it. You are calm and also lighthearted. It's interesting, though, because this person sees you as the Queen of Cups. Again, because the devil is here with the magician and the Queen of Cups is here with the moon, me no likey likey. I kind of want to see the sun. I don't want this person, I personally, caring about you guys, don't want this person to suck you into this weird place of confusing emotional states with them and getting them to help you make sense of their own lives, especially when you're really on the market for something more exciting, more passionate that is going to make you feel like your true self and make you feel calm like temperance and where there's real love. I also think that you're here with moderation. And I was like, all right, what are they going to do? What, what else here? The Ten of Swords, the World, and the Three of Wands. Okay, this is general, so I can't speak to you personally, but this prediction tells me you're going to do one of two things. If this person hurt you, you're going to be like, I look back at this pain. I see what happened here. I'm turning my back on it entirely. I'm not your mopey queen of cups that you can obsessively get me sucked into something with. I'm really sorry that you're getting too old for this scene and you don't know who you are or what you want. I'll be nice to you, but that's about it. I have other things to do and I have places to be. You're not going to get me to stay in this part of town with you, literally or spiritually, energetically. I also think it's possible that a few of you, if you think this person has experienced real growth to an extent, you will put the past behind you and consider a future of some kind with this person. But you'll stay in a beginning phase. You may think there's growth potential here. But what you need to know is that they have these tendencies of not knowing what they want. And they also do want to suck you back into something from the past because they feel comfortable there. The Knight of Pentacles is like a dog that stays chained in the yard because it doesn't understand what it's like to be the Knight of Swords or the Knight of Cups or the Knight of Wands. Each knight has its place in the world. But I don't know that this Queen of Wands and this fool in you are interested in staying stuck in that. You know? And they might keep you there for a while. Depends on how nurturing you're feeling. 
This is attached to a moon cycle. You will have times and moments where you can do this. But I guarantee you, Libra, there will also be times where you're like, this is old. And I'm really sorry that you're struggling with whatever the fuck it is you're going through. I'm sorry that you still see yourself as a young magician and you're struggling to see yourself as a hermit who's older and wiser. I'm doing my own rebirth thing. My beauty and my youth come from within, not on the surface. Like this sidetracking, where is it? Beauty is not an issue for you. You're just passionate and you've got it going on. And I feel like this person is just gonna, them talking about how they constantly get sidetracked in life is gonna sidetrack and distract you. And for the love of all things holy, do not give this person an apology that they owe you just so that you don't have to feel this anymore. Your back is already turned to it. You look like you're doing good. There's this part of me that wants to do an extended. I am going to do an extended. For those of you that might be thinking about giving a person a second chance, because this pattern could be broken for them. They have to find a constructive outlet for the magician and they have to stop closing themselves off. And I do think that they have a little bit of a shallow side too. I am curious to see if they can work through that and soon and quickly. They could be close with the world here. Let's see if we can jam a whole bunch of lessons into this one ascension for this person. I don't think so, but we'll see. So if you feel like you want to see the extended to clarify this person's actions and intentions, um, more deeply and see if they see you as anything other than this Queen of Cups that they can attach to in this interesting way. The link to the extended will be at the top of the description below. That's your message for mid-February singles. I hope it resonates and I hope it helps. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Libra. Take care. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.